Do you want to get rid of the Creality glass bed that came on the Ender 3 V2? Well, this is the video for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a magnet so we can use the EasyFlex 2 from TH3D and get rid of the Creality glass bed. My name is Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. So the Ender 3 V2 is actually a really good machine out of the box from Creality. There's just a few things that I would have liked to seen on this machine that they didn't do initially. The first is the yellow bed springs that we did in the last video. Next, I would have rather seen a flex plate like this than the glass bed that it actually came with. I really love flex plates because it makes it so easy to get the prints off. All you have to do, pop the surface off, give it a flex in a couple directions like that, and a lot of times the prints come right off. Actually, with my TH3D Easy Flex 2 like this, most of the time when the printer cools down, I don't even have to take it off. The part just literally falls off the bed, which is amazing. But you always want to print with heat because if you don't, especially on this textured PEI sheet, it won't stick and you'll have a problem. But today, I'm going to show you how to take off this glass bed from Creality. We're going to install a magnet from TH3D. Then we'll be able to use the EasyFlex 2 like this one going forward. Another combination I really like is the TH3D flex plate like this, but with their Easy Mat on it. Now I believe they're getting a different style Easy Mat. This is an older one that I have. It's blue, uh, but I really love these Easy Mats. Um, they do flex like this because it's on that flex plate behind it here but I stick it right down to the flex plate. And I tell you what, there's almost nothing that won't stick to this build surface and it is awesome. But with that being said, I think we should get on with it. Let's take off the glass bed. Let's take this magnet, we'll get it installed and then we can start flexing. Let's do it. First thing we need to do is take off these bed clips. Uh, you can either get them off with your fingers if you can. Mine are pretty tight. So I'm gonna use a scraper and I'm just gonna put it in here and turn it and it'll pop them off just like that. You wanna do the same thing for the back. One of the benefits of this is you will not have to use these, these clips anymore. Um, these can be a pain in the butt, especially when you're taking on and off your bed a lot. Then you wanna take your Creality glass and put it aside. For this next part, I like to raise my gantry up as far as it goes to get it out of the way. Then the, take the magnet we got from TH3D, just peel back one of the corners about like that much and then crease it. Then you wanna set everything on and get it nice and lined up so it's straight and so it's even on the bed. Once that's done and you're, you're straight and you're even, you wanna press down that corner back here that you peeled back like this. Once you get it nice and pressed down, you'll just lift this up, you'll peel back a little bit, lay it back down, and just pull it towards you and press it down nice and even. You don't want any bubbles. Um, if you have any big bubbles, that could cause issues, but all you gotta do is pull it nice and even towards you. Peel back a little more like this, lay it back down. It's real easy to do. It doesn't take much time at all. I'm just using my hand, um, just like this. Once you get this far, all you have to do is just pull your paper out a little bit. You don't even have to lift the magnet anymore. You just pull the paper towards you. Um, just keep working it towards you. You see there's no bubbles in here. It was super easy to lay down. This is 3M adhesive, so it's very good stuff. Pull it back out towards you. I'm almost to the end. Almost done already. Pull it out just a little bit more and go all the way out to the front. There we go. Our magnet is now installed. That was real easy. The next thing you wanna do is just take your Easy Flex 2, line it up on here and drop it on. It's that easy. Now when this is done, all you have to do is pop this off just like this, give it a flex and your print will come right off. What's really nice about this is, say you want a different surface, I can pop this off, I can drop on my Easy Mat with the flex on there, I can re-level quick, and I'm good to go. Now I have the smooth easy matte surface and not the textured PEI on the other one. If you prefer something different, you can pop that off. You can grab your smooth PEI Easy Flex. Uh, the V2 version is out now and you can drop it on like that and now you have smooth PEI and you get the smooth finish. 
although I do like the smooth, but my go-to is actually the textured Easy Flex 2. I really love this build surface. Well, there you have it. We officially took off the Creality glass. You no longer have to use these little metal clips or anything like that. Again, I really like these and it's awesome to support a small company like TH3D. Don't forget, anytime you do anything to your bed, you have to re-level. Use the video up here to learn how to level the bed. Uh, it is a super simple process, but you wanna make sure you do it right and get it set up right the first time. Then, with the yellow springs we put on in the last video, with the Easy Flex now, you're gonna love how easy this thing is to use going forward. Well, I hope you learned something today, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I really hope you liked the video. Give me that thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button right here, and the little bell if you wanna get notified when we go live on Monday for Hot Mix, or anytime the channel puts out a new video. Have you seen the playlist for the Ender 3 V2? It's right here.